back at it again and uh we are having more and more folks now Charlemagne, who is who we're about to check out is a radio personality um typically talks about the hip-hop community uh that's kind of more of his lane uh of things so you know the hip-hop community knows who Charlemagne is the same thing goes for dj academics who we checked out just the other day and he was talking about how he supported uncle trump and uh would vote for desantis <clears throat> now Charlemagne is coming out and saying some not so good things for the left but before we hop into it make sure you guys hit that like button and if you are not subscribed to the channel already hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and make sure you guys are following me on social media those links are down below in the description box and with that being said let's dive in Popular radio host Charlemagne the God giving the Democratic Party a very grim forecast on their 2024 prospects, saying uh -oh. it's sad that the party cannot find anyone better than Biden. I think that's more in indicative of what, you know, Democrats aren't doing. And, and for me, I just... What in the world? Why does it sound like that? Sorry about that staticky sound. That That's that's not me. That's the video. So I, don't, I don't see the bench that the Democrats have. Like, I don't... I personally don't see the per the person that they could put up in 2024 that could like really galvanize and, and energize people. I mean, the fact that Biden is still their safest bet, I ugh, I think that's sad too. Charlemagne also thinks Kamala Harris is a total loser, adding <laughs> that he does not believe the vice is. president is a viable candidate and would lose against some top Republicans if she is the party's nominee. And liberal outlet Slate.com thinks Joe should straight up abandon his number two. Quote, if Biden runs again, he should pick a new VP. Kamala Harris had her chance. The Democrats need something different. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Bill Meyer came out and said that exact same thing and people on the left demonized him for it. Oh, he's just a Republican. <laughs> Oh, yes, I would love for them to get rid of Kamala. Please get rid of Kamala. <laughs> All of these leftists, a lot of the leftist voters would get angry that they got rid of the black woman. <laughs> would be so angry and will vote for some some third party person and absolutely tank their their 2024 bid. <laughs> And Republicans would take an easy dub. <laughs> Please get rid of Kamala. She's trash anyway. <laughs> her approval rating was lower than Joe's. Yeah, as low as Joe's is, her approval rating is lower than Joe's. Yeah. But then back to the the um who's next up. And I've talked about this before. It can't be Kamala for the reasons we just touched on. Who's it gonna be? Elizabeth Warren? No. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Stacey Abrams? No. She can't even win in Georgia. Uh, 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 Robert O'Rourke? No. It'll just be his fourth, fourth time losing, wasting a bunch of money. Um, who, el who else? Uh, Gavin Newsom? I guess maybe they could run with Gavin. That actually might be their best option is Gavin unfortunately which is just crazy to even say but he's got he's got california convinced <laughs> i don't know how though it's really sad to watch <laughs> all these people getting mugged on the streets bro cars getting broken have y'all seen those videos coming out of coming out of california i mean broad daylight just no care in the world walking up to a car looking inside the window seeing something Boom, reach in, grab, run around to the other side of the car, you know, into the getaway car, hop in, speed off, gone. Gone. <laughs> so I don't know how he's got them convinced. Uh, who else they got? Pete? Pete Buttigieg? I think not. <laughs> who else do they have? There's nobody else. Not a singles AOC. AOC. Maybe, maybe they could run with a Gavin Newsom AOC ticket. 
<laughs> that is completely garbage. But uh, it might be their best option, honestly. Gavin Newsom and AOC. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, or maybe they need to um, bring in Liz Cheney or something. <laughs> They've got nobody. Nobody. Man, but what do y'all think? Y'all let me know in the comment section. I, yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll, let's get rid of the easy question here, Brian. Kamala, she's gone, right? A little surprising because she went and did his show. Remember, she pretended yeah. uh, to like uh, uh, who is... Yeah. Yeah, uh, like the, Snoop the, or Dre or one of those. Yeah, them. yeah, and when evidently they didn't have any music out at that time. Yeah, and, she lied. Right, so she lied about that, and so oh, he yeah. picked up on that, and he does not. Hil Hillary did the same thing with the hot sauce. Oh, yeah, I keep hot sauce in my purse. <laughs> and Kamala tried to act like she listened to Snoop and Tupac. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. For He's also not for Pete Buttigieg. He's a smart guy, but he doesn't think the American people are ready to vote for him. So he says they're without any options. He also said about when it comes down to Trump, he says the problem with Trump is all the investigations and things around him. Yeah. He thinks it'll be a, a big showdown and that DeSantis will win. I don't know where he gets the statement when he says people are sleeping on Ron DeSantis. Everybody's talking about Ron DeSantis. <laughs> no one's sleeping on him. Yeah, nobody's yeah, sleeping. And you know, um, Dana, the Charlemagne the God says... He believes um, that that both Biden and Kamala would lose to Trump or DeSantis. I mean, he hasn't given up on Trump totally. So it's, it's, what's interesting is that he is like somebody in the Democratic Party, like Van Jones or Bill Maher or James Carville. Uh, they say really smart things, really wise things, and then they are wholly ignored by the Democratic Party. And, and then at the end of an election, they're like, wow, we should have really listened. Isn't Van Jones the black guy that was crying after the, after the election? Is that is that who Van Jones is? Forgive me, I'm 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 I think that's who that is, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section. I think that was the guy that was crying after uh, 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 Joe won last election. Let me know. For those guys, um, I think that's a very sick burn of the vice president. And I imagine that Kamala Harris will announce a full departing of all staff by Saturday and a new team by Monday. That'll right. be the seventh <laughs> rendition to see if she can try to figure it out. Again, it's like it's what he's saying. And he knows her. He's talked to her many times that she's not the one. And so now I kind of wonder if in a way the midterms will end up being a little bit of a long term problem for the Democratic Party, because now President Biden has a little bit of wind at his back. And he's thinking he's going to run again, and I bet this week, and he'll feel like, you know what? I feel pretty good. I'm 80. I just did better than I thought I would do in, in the midterms. I'm going to run again, instead of giving the Democrats a reason to say, goodbye, let's move on. Now, the Republicans get a lot of talk about being in disarray. And there is that, yes, of course, but the mirror image is quite interesting on the Democratic side, and their bench is so weak. That is the real soft underbelly of their problems. You know, um, Harold, four congressional Democrats anonymously said that half of the Democrats in Congress would not support Biden. You think that's true? I don't know. I mean, it, you know, I was in Congress and people spoke on them, so they generally had some sources for doing that. Uh, they at least had some fillers out in the party. They, there's no doubt that four weeks ago there was a wide filling or growing filling amongst at least the Democrat kind of elite class that, that Biden shouldn't, uh, should seriously consider not running. And I think that group thought that the midterms would turn out poorly. The midterms didn't turn out as poorly as some thought. Now, there's a, and as a result, there's some who think that maybe Vice Pre or President Biden and Vice President Harris may decide that they've had a good run here. Maybe they ought to open a door for someone else, uh, as Nancy Pelosi has done. The challenge is what's been said, that bench is not readily apparent. Um, look, I, I'm always question, I question anybody who has God in their name who's not a God, but I think the God make, makes him, he's entitled to his opinion, and he has an interesting, <clears throat> interesting opinion. He probably has credibility on some of this because of the things that you, I think, uh, Brian, you and, you, and, uh, you and Dana shared. He was uh, supportive of Vice President Harris and said that it was one of the best things that President Biden did was choosing her. Now he's being critical. I think, again, this is one of the lessons Democrats should yeah, take from this. We should not believe for any, re for any moment that we should not be serious about crime and the border. We should not believe for any moment that we should not be serious about energy and should not be, not be deluded to believe that we should not think more creatively about how to invigorate Main Street America and small business in America. Uh, and as a result, that may mean we need new personnel. At this moment, though, 
Uh, as much as it may be mirrored when we have these challenges, Dana, Democrats, uh, Biden feels better about his chances than Trump, DeSantis, Haley, Scott, and we can go down the list, Pompeo. I heard something Pompeo said today about Randy Weingarten. It was unbelievable to me. But look, it, it, we're going to we'll get a chance to see this thing play out. Jesse, <clears throat> wrap it up. Well, he does have things going for him. He just kept the Senate, and he can raise a lot of money. And he's well-liked by corporate America. You're talking about President Biden? I'm talking about President Biden. <clears throat> and he's an incumbent, True. which is hard to beat. But on the other hand, his legislative agenda is totally shot now that the Republicans have the House. They're going to crank up investigations and expose his family finances and corruption. And people have never seen that before. And he may say, you know, he matches up well against Trump, but we don't have COVID this time in 2024, and he does not match up well against Ron DeSantis. So it's whether or not Joe Biden's going to be able to campaign because of his health. And if he does campaign, how does he do that and also stay home in Delaware? You have to actually go to swing states yeah, when you're running up. a general. People don't show right. up. Right. So is it going to be the pro-Biden voter that comes out or is it the anti-Trump? Really, that's the thing. But I wanted to discuss King Charlemagne, where the God took the name from. This guy has an amazing family tree. Are you ready? His children, Pepin. I think Biden or Joe would lose to DeSantis in an absolute blowout. Absolute blowout. Because the media hasn't figured out a way to truly demonize him the way that they have the orange man, right? They've, they've demonized the orange man since day one. I mean, it's just been an all out assault. Plus, I think the establishment wants DeSantis more than they want the orange man. Because the establishment knows that Trump's going to drain the swamp. And some of them are going with it. <laughs> okay. Um, so they really don't want Trump. So DeSantis has that advantage, uh, you know, on his side. But I do think Joe would still lose to Trump in an election. If it were to happen, if we had an election tomorrow, 2024 was tomorrow. The 2024 election was tomorrow. I do still believe that Joe would lose to Trump. But I think it would be a blowout to DeSantis. And the only reason why I say it would be close, closer with, with Trump is because of the reason that I just stated. They found a way to trick people into thinking all the things that they are saying on the media is true. I can't tell you how many times I've come across a comment or I've heard somebody say something that simply is not true about Trump. And if they just took the time to do the research, they would have figured it out. Can't tell you how many times I've come across the comment that, that said something foolish about Trump. And I'm like, yo, that's not even true. The media made that up. But people believe this stuff. They haven't ingrained people to think that way about DeSantis just yet. Now, eventually they will, but they haven't yet. It's all about Trump right now. It's all about Trump. So, um, yeah, do y'all agree with that assessment? Let me know in the comment section. And the hunchback, Charles the Younger, siblings, Carloman Gisela, parents, Pepin the Short, grandchild, Charles the Bald took over all of Europe, Holy Roman Empire. That's where he got it from. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. Uh, ahead. The White House is <laughs> So, yeah, that's the end of that video. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with his assessment on that. Um, having a name like the God is is quite uh, over the top, but it is what it is. Be, be, beyond, beyond his name, right? Um, well, which isn't technically his real name, but you know, his, his made up name or his, his personality name or radio name, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think he has a point. I think he definitely has a point. Um, in the fact that, you know, they, they're, they're going to lose to Trump and DeSantis or DeSantis, whoever decides to come out. I personally, and I, I'm st I'm, listen, I've been open and honest about how I feel about it. I think DeSantis should just sit back. Let Trump, let Trump run with the win, okay? Let let him get his get back, all right? Let him get his last four years. Get him out of there, okay? And then, you know, as Trump leaves, DeSantis comes in. And DeSantis runs it for, for the next eight years. That's that's how I feel it should happen. Now, I don't, I don't know DeSantis, obviously. Never talked to the man. I don't know what's going through the man's head. 
Um, sometimes I feel like he's going to go with that strategy. Other times I feel like it's just a matter of time before he announces that he's going to run for 2024. Um, honestly, if he announces that he's going to run for 2024, I'll be slightly disappointed. I'll be slightly disappointed because I know then that the establishment on the right and the left is going to ratchet things up to the nth degree against the orange man. And it's just going to be an all out assault going at the orange man. I mean, from top to bottom, every, from every which, which direction, I mean, the, the, the mainstream media, the machine from everywhere is going to be going after the orange man. And I think eventually the machine may win and get DeSantis, you know, out there. And I fear that Trump is going to give him the middle finger and say, I'm going to be independent. I'm still going to be on this ticket, which I think guarantees a loss for Republicans. I think that would guarantee a loss. And then, of course, we would have whoever the Democrat is back out there. I think that's the worst case scenario for Republicans. I think that's the absolute worst case. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. Um, talk to me. Um, do you do you think DeSantis should just go out and risk Trump going independent and messing up the vote you know because listen i think and and i can't nobody can really blame him you know what i mean like every every establishment person shill has gone after trump for the past six years six years probably actually long, a little bit longer than that since he announced that he was going to run it's just been an all-out assault all out assault. This man hasn't been in office in two years and they're still going after him. So, of course, he he, he wants to get his lick back. You know, we, we were all taught as kids. Well, I, I, I was taught as a kid. I, I guess I can't speak for all the people. And I feel like most black people are taught as a kid. You don't let nobody hit you and you don't hit them back. Don't don't come back in this house if you don't get your bike back. If somebody if some other little kid, you know, three houses down, took it from you. Don't walk back in this house if you ain't got your bike. All right. Now, listen, right or wrong, but hey, <laughs> that's just the way it was, okay? And I feel like Trump kind of has that same mentality. Like, y'all y'all been coming at me for no reason for all this time. It's time for me to get my lick back, okay? Not physically, obviously, you know what I mean? Not, 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 not like that. We're not advocating for violence or nothing, but just politically. Like, I want my get back. I think... A lot of us would would feel that same way if they if we if we had all been in his position and getting unjustly attacked for this amount of time just over and over and over and over like all right cool this what y'all want all right you gonna get it so um yeah y'all y'all let me know do you think uh DeSantis should just sit this one out do you think he should step up to the plate and risk Trump running as an independent talk to me like share comment hit that subscribe button if you're new Peace and love. I'm out.